So Ellie, we know that storytelling is important. People, recruiters make decisions on feelings and how do you present your story in your about section, as we talked about in the previous video on LinkedIn, in your cover letter, in your accomplishment. But still for maybe let's say newcomers or immigrants or new entry people, they don't know how to do a skill set. And you as a professional and preparing for interviews, what techniques they need or they can do to increase that storytelling experience? For sure. Yeah. So storytelling is absolutely crucial and will really help you. Yeah. Like you just said, hiring decisions have some logic to them, but a lot of times they're emotional decisions yes. made by people. And the reason I like stories so much is because they are memorable evidence. Mm -hmm. So when we think of evidence, we might think of like facts and statistics um, and maybe um, some uh, maybe some like uh, visuals mm -hmm. of like evidence. That, that's kind of what we think of. But I think of stories as really entertaining evidence that's really memorable and shows me a little bit of who you are. And when I understand who you are, I feel a human connection with you. Yes. And thus I want to work with you more. So that's just why storytelling is important in general. But when we when we think about how to tell stories, um, I often think of a great friend of mine, Stan Miller, who is my storytelling go-to. He's a storytelling expert. And one of his main um, ideas around stories is that a lot of people will make stories about themselves. Here is what I did. Here's what I contributed. Uh, here is the problem that we were experiencing. Mm -hmm. And his idea is to flip the script a little bit and focus on who you served. So focusing on the person who you were helping within that work. And the reason I think that that is so powerful in an interview context is that the interviewer is evaluating, how can you help me? And yeah. when you tell them a story of how you have helped somebody else who is very similar, mm -hmm. they are immediately making those connections that, oh, yes, you can help me too. Yeah. Um, and that's what makes for a more effective interview Yes. Um, and, and hopefully that potential offer. Um, and so thinking about that as well, that, that story being evidence that you are, are actually capable of, of the job. Um, I can start picturing you doing the job that I'm interviewing mm -hmm. for. And the last thing I'll just say about, about stories is if you are going to start telling some stories, you're going to start framing them around more about who you serve. Don't become a memorizer. Yeah. Memorizing your story and just reading off a script is actually going to have the opposite effect yeah. because that doesn't create human connection. Yeah. Text doesn't really create human connection and you reading off of text and reading it like text is not going to create human connection for yeah. me. But what I actually recommend doing is if you do want to write out your stories, I don't think that's a bad idea, but I do recommend turning that full story into a bulleted list yeah. And then going off of that bulleted list as a somewhat of a framework as like keynotes for what mm -hmm. you want to say yeah. um, so that you can still foster that human connection, speak naturally. Um, and then also, too, I, I find with memorizers as well, they're often a little bit thrown off and they, they might get um, if they are, are asked a follow up question that they haven't memorized the yeah. answer to. <laughs> So then the answers yeah. sound completely it different. Froze. So yeah. like your yeah. first one, your first one was completely structured and beautiful and had all these great transitions. Then you were asked a follow-up question and you are like bumbling. bumbling. Um, and so that is specifically why I recommend yeah. do not be a memorizer, yeah. but do tell your stories. Yeah. I tell yeah. my clients, read the job description at least one or two times. And in the requirement parts, like line, line, line by line. Do you mm -hmm. have a story to back up that? Write yes. it down because sometimes I feel that if people write it down, they will memorize more. And again, practice your answers, maybe in front of a you know Zoom, record yourself, see how you're doing. Because again, when you're telling, you're using your hands, your gesture, your physical appearance. And that's also key that sometimes recruiters or hiring manager will take that into account. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I agree. And uh, something we were, uh, oh, I, I'm so sorry, I just forgot it. There was something we were talking about before that related to this and mm. now it's left me. 
so sorry. No worries, <laughs> no worries. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end, Elia. I really enjoyed the conversation, very practical tips. So for the audience, if you haven't watched the previous video, please check it out. They are all posted. And if you have any questions, you can reach to us. And we're looking forward to help you because we are here to help you uh, get a momentum in your job search. And again, Ellie, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.